Let's have a look at dividing negative numbers now. If you have a negative divided by a positive, that's actually equal to a negative. Let's try and understand this with a real life example. Let's say your monthly rent bill for the house is $1,200. So this is your rent bill for the house you're renting. If you divide that among three tenants, then each tenant pays $400. So each tenant has a bill of $400, right? So negative over positive gives negative. If you go to a restaurant and the total bill is 80, so negative 80, and there's four people, divide that bill among four people, and each person has a bill of 20 now, right? So negative over positive is negative, and that makes sense. This interesting one, negative divided by negative, is actually equal to a positive number. So let's have a look at this. <clears throat> well, first of all, let's understand this. 10 divided by 2. This is a positive over a positive. How many 2's were in 10? 5 2's in 10. 30 divided by 6. How many 6's are in 30? How many 6's are contained in 30? There's 5 of them, right? Uh, 2 over 1. How many 1's are in 2? There's two ones and two. An electricity bill of $400. Okay. And each month's electricity costs $100. So how many bills of $100 are in a combined bill of $400? How many negative 100s are contained in negative 400? Well, what's this? Negative 100 plus negative 100 uh, plus negative... 100 plus negative 100. 1, 2, 3, 4 bills. So negative over negative gives positive. Your monthly DSL bill is $30. If you have a total bill of negative 120, how many monthly bills of $30 are contained in a total bill of 120? Well, negative 30 plus negative 30 is negative 60, plus negative 30 is negative 90, plus negative 30, negative 120. There are four negative 30s in negative 120. So negative over negative gives positive. And the other thing we need to look at is if we have a positive number divided by a negative number. And I don't know any real life example of this. So what we have to remember is that is equal to a negative. So, if you can come up with a real life example, please let me know and you'll get some bonus points for that for sure. Positive 20 over negative 5. Positive over negative is negative. 20 over 5 is 4. Well, there's a theoretical way of understanding it. If we turn this into fractions, we'll see this, that um, 20 over negative 5 is the same as 20 over 1 multiplied by um, 1 over negative 5. And 1 over negative 5 is the same as negative 1 fifth. So we've got positive times negative, negative, and we've got negative 20 over 5, you know, and that's negative 4. So a positive over negative gives a negative. If we change it into fractions, we prove it theoretically. So what we need to understand, and this is very useful to know, is that negative one-half, for example, with the negative in line with the fraction bar, can also be written negative one over two, or one over negative two, right? So if you had, for example, 2 over negative 5, write this two different ways. Press pause and see if you can write it two different ways. It can be written negative 2 over 5 or negative 2 fifths. So this is 2 divided by negative 5. 
This is negative 2 divided by 5, and this is negative 2 fifths. So negative can be here, here, or here, but there must be one of them. If there's two negatives, like negative 2 over negative 5, we know negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this is actually 2 fifths. Right? So what would this be? Negative 1 over negative 3. Now remember, it's negative divided by a negative. That gives a positive, positive one-third. Or you can think about it this way, negative 1 over um, 1, for example, times uh, 1 over negative 3. That's uh, negative 1 times a negative one-third. Negative times negative is positive. 1 times a third is positive a third. But obviously, this is a, a roundabout way of doing it. Just remember, negative over negative gives positive. Okay, we could also have fractions. So, for example, um, negative 3 quarters divided by negative 1 quarter. And remember, if we're dividing fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right. So that is negative 3 quarters multiplied by negative 4 over 1. Negative times negative, positive. 4 and 4 goes once. 4 and 4 goes once. So positive 3 times 1 is 3 over 1 times 1 is 1. So that's positive 3, right? How about negative 9 divided by 2 thirds? Dividing fractions. If you've got a, an integer, change that to a fraction. So that's um, negative 9 over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal 3 over 2. And negative times positive is negative. 9 times 3 is 27. 1 times 2 is 2. Write that as a mixed number also. So always write these as an improper fraction and a mixed number, just for practice. 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 7 goes 3 times, remainder 1. So negative 13 and a half.